Hey peeps, this is Candice with Only One Life Creations. I know I said that I wasn't going to do a tutorial on the master boards, but since um, some people think that they couldn't do this, I'm going to just show you how easy it really is. Um, I've gathered my supplies. I've got, I'm going to do two sheets at once so that I can have some extras, uh, some extra to do things with. So I've got some of this Dina Wakely acrylic paint in different colors. I'm using, um, uh, you probably can't see, so I'm just going to bring these over. These are colors in um, what we call the cool colors, and so those are what I'm going to be using. I've got um, tangerine, ruby, lemon, some fuchsia, cheddar. I don't know how many of those I'll use, probably not more than three or four, and then um, when you come in to do things that are that you want to pop, then you use the colors that are the opposite. Like you know that green and red are opposite, and yellow and purple are opposite. So we use very little of this, if at all. And then um, also I'm using the green and purple in the opposites to stamp on top. And these oxide inks, because they're uh, because they're like chalk inks, they'll sit on top and and won't mix in, and then maybe some abandoned coral as well. And then I've got some stencils, and this is the Graphic 45 Nature Sketchbook 2 set, and then some Tim Holtz, um, it's just some different mixed media sets that I'll, I might use a couple of those. So I'm just going to keep those right, right nearby. And then I'm going to fast forward this so that you don't have to watch everything, but I have a two inch brayer and that's what you start with. You start with a two inch brayer. So here I am, I'm, I'm putting little dots of paint and unfortunately you can't see that. And then I'm just putting it, uh, rubbing the brayer through it so the entire brayer gets wet with the paint. And then I'm doing vertical and horizontal and I started with my lightest color. So I'm starting with the yellow now, I was having trouble with the brayer. It wouldn't turn, and I had to stop and kind of open it up because the sides were rubbing against the metal on the other side. So um, it wasn't turning very well, but I'm going to move on to the next color here, which is the orange. And as you can see, I'm leaving a lot of white space um, on this particular um, set of master boards. I almost wish that I had left less white space, um, but ultimately um, sometimes they come out really, really nice and sometimes they come out so-so. Um, they're all still usable. Now I'm moving on to the blushing and these are all the Dina Wakely paints um, and these actually work very well for this technique. So you can see I've left a lot of white, and so I have to go back, and I'm starting again with the yellow because I want to fill in some of that white. And then I decide the yellow is a little bright, so you can see that little dot there. And I put a little bit of white and a little bit of yellow to sort of lighten things up because that yellow is extremely bright. It's very, very colorful. And then I did the same with the orange. I added a little bit of orange and then I went ahead with my blushing pink dot and did the pink and the white on that. You can see there I'm fixing my brayer um, so that it will turn better. So when you put the paint on you want a really thin coat and you want to have a very light hand. Um, you can see on the bottom left there that there's a pretty dark orange streak and hopefully that will get covered up but that's because I was pressing down too hard on the paper. So as you can see, I'm moving on to the stenciling and I'm going to use, I, I pull out the Delusions paint and I'm using the, um, I believe that's cherry pie or no, that's the tangerine orange. Anyways, I pulled them out and I pulled out the pink and then I decided, well, I'm gonna try this with the Dina Wakely as well. And unfortunately, again, you can't see me putting my blending tool in there and wiping it. But up in the right-hand corner, you'll see that. 
you want to really just rub a tiny dot of that into the blending tool. And I'm not re-wetting the blending tool through this whole process. You can see that I'm just randomly using that stencil and putting some little letters all around. So here, now you can see that little dot of paint up in the upper right. And this is the Dina Wakely, and this is the fuchsia. And this is a really, her colors are quite, um, they're, they're very bright. There's a lot of pigment in her paints. And again, I'm trying to be as random as possible, including going off the edge of the paper so it looks natural. And then I'm pulling out the Ledger script set from Tim Holtz. And I'm using the Abandoned Coral. And I'm just doing that. You can probably hardly see it, but I'm doing it on the lightest areas, like the yellow and some of the really light areas so where it will show up well. And then I pulled out um, that other set there. And I tried it with some black. And I decided right away that I didn't like it. I, I hated how it looked. So I stopped doing it. And you can see there's only a few in there. And that's so that's OK. And then I pulled out my uh, an old gift card. And I took the Delusions white paint because I thought that those cherries, I just didn't like how dark they were. So I just put some white lines over them with the Delusions paint. I just dipped it right into the cover of the delusions on the white okay so and then I am gonna break out the abandoned coral oxide ink and I'm gonna use the graphic 45 and it's the little dragonfly and you can probably barely see it I wish that I had used something a little more which would have put more ink on. So for example, that, that stamp in the lower left with the diamonds probably would have been perfect for this part. But I really wanted that dragonfly on there. So I just tried to press down heavy and put a lot of ink on to try to make it show up well. This didn't turn out to be my favorite master board that I've done, but this whole process doing two full master boards took about a half an hour. Of course, you know, gathering the product probably took five minutes. So you could probably do a master board in about 20 minutes if you're just doing one eight and a half by 11. Now I'm gonna break out the, the little B and I'm going to use the wilted violet. And I liked that you could see this really well on there. And again, just random all over. And again, this isn't this is isn't my favorite one that I've ever done, but you get the idea. It's really like doing a background for an art journal page. It's really probably the same thing that you would do, um, but it's easy and it's fun and doesn't take very long. So now, once this dries completely, I'll be ready to cut this up and make cards out of it. And you can always add some ink or add more to it if, if you think it's not complete. Uh, in my opinion, I think I left too much white space on that, but that's okay. Um, it's ready to go, and I did have fun making it. So thanks for watching. Uh, like and subscribe, and leave a comment. Thanks for watching.